So do you remember all the way back into last week where I said I was going to do two videos every week in September? Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dave Connery and I'm an artist designer based in Southern California and despite my energy level in this moment, I am really, really tired. I'm sorry, I don't mean to complain. It's not my job to complain to you guys. You're not here to listen to that. You're here to be entertained, informed, educated, maybe laugh at some of my jokes, maybe tell me to dance like a monkey. <laughs> I'm a little punchy, I apologize. Let me explain to you why. Some of you have seen me talk about the USPS project where I basically asked people to send me letters so I could turn around and send them art, and I got overwhelmed. Uh, let me show you this. That is 110 envelopes. That is the end of the first wave. You heard that right. When I say first wave, I basically what I did is I've got all of these envelopes and I separated them into two groups. Groups of people who did the basics, right? They sent a letter and I'm gonna send them something back. I'm gonna be sending them a print in the mail. That's what they get for sending me a letter. That's what they get for sending me a letter as a thank you to say, hey, thanks for participating, thanks for helping out the United States Postal Service. So this is the end of that group. I should be able to knock this out in the next couple of days. I hope I do because we're taking a couple of days and we're going to do a little family staycation somewhere. I wanna get them done before I do that. But that's only half the story right now. This is the other half of the story. These are the people that sent art, that sent money, that sent a whole booklet of stamps or more. People that sent cool things, kids that sent me art that I want to reply to in kind. Everybody in this box, everyone in this box is gonna get a small piece of original art from me. That was the original plan. I honestly don't know where I stand with that. I really want to stick to my guns, but man, am I tired. I automated the shit out of everything. I went and got the cards printed. I went and bought bulk envelopes so they would be cheaper. I uh, had my family help me with the stamps and stuff in the envelopes with the cards so I could at least have part of that prepped. I even went and bought myself a you know, a stamper so that I could tick it, tick it, tick it, all my return address instead of having to write everything. When these things come through and they have a good address up here, which I'm not gonna share because that's private information. When they come through with a good address, I actually cut them out and glue them down instead of me having to hand write everything. I have automated the hell out of this project and I am still exhausted. I have nobody, nobody to blame but myself. I asked these people to send me stuff. I just didn't have any scope of how big that we're gonna get. And it is what it is. It, it is what it is, I've been talking about this for a while. I can't change the fact that these pieces are here. Could I just toss them all and say, screw it, I'm not gonna do anymore? Yeah, but that's not me. That's not how I roll. Every single person is gonna get some sort of response because that's how I like to play things out. Luckily, the mail has started to trickle and it's no longer a giant flood, so that's helpful. I only get a few pieces every day as opposed to hundreds. What does all this mean for you? I, I don't really know. I mean, I, I, I was, I'm so overwhelmed with this project. I'm so overwhelmed with uh, my other art projects that I need to get done. I'm also helping my son with the homeschooling thing because he's back in school and that's a big mess. This work turned into a complete sideshow Bob that I can't even, uh, I can't even fully wrap my head around. And so the idea of me doing two videos this week was just like, it wasn't in the cards. I barely got this one out and I even got this one out a day later than I was supposed to. Two things happened today that kind of put me in a little bit of an anxiety mode. I was talking with a friend and telling them that my intention for now, for this month and maybe the next month and maybe a little bit into November, I'm going to be very product focused because I've noticed that the more products that I make, the more people are buying them. So I'm going to be ramping up the product side of my business because I wanna get ready for the holidays. And the idea of having all that other stuff to do as well as all this stuff, just like, ah, kind of pinched a little bit. 
And then I got an email from Etsy, which I'm not really focusing on Etsy, but this, you know, I get those emails that say, hey, how to ramp up for you know this, how to do better at this, how to be, how to get your tags straight, how to take, uh, uh, all the little how-to articles that they put out, but this one was how to get ready for the 2020 holiday season. And I didn't even read it. I didn't even have to read it. And then I had to come out here and I had to do these envelopes. And as much as these envelopes tire me out, they also center my mind, right? Because it's like machine. I don't have to focus on anything except lick and stamp and lick and stamp and lick and stamp. And all of this comes around to the general idea for you and for me is that sometimes we have to take stock of where we are and really focus on slowing down. Slow your roll. And when I say roll, I don't mean R-O-L-L. -L. I mean R-O-L-E. Slow the roll that you have put yourself into because it's possible that the stuff that you are dealing with, yes, you probably have to deal with some of the things that you are doing. Like you have to do the job. The job needs to be done, you have to do the job. There's work to be done. But then you've got, you've got all these other things that you're doing on the side. You've got your social media, you got your, your contacts, you got your Zoom calls, you got, you got all, you got your friends and your family and your school and all, you got all this stuff pushing in on you. And there's definitely, there's definitely aspects within some of the things that you are doing today, tomorrow, this weekend, next week. There's definitely things within that realm that you can turn off, put on pause, say, you know what? Not today, Satan. I'm not really a religious person. I've just always really liked that saying. So how am I slowing my role right now? Number one, uh, I'm basically taking a break from Twitter. I am going to be extremely limited on Instagram. I am going to dedicate the majority of my attention to my Patreon people. And yeah, I'm trying to work with you guys quite a bit, but I am going to go back on what I said last week. I am not going to do two videos a week. Not right now. Not while I still have this project going. Not while I'm still got all those other projects that I said I want to work on. I, it's just too much. It's too much right now. I may get back to a point where I do two videos a week, but right now I think one is gonna do it. I don't need the views that crazy. I don't need the revenue that much. My sanity is worth something. My my frame of mind, my positivity, my, my, my status in my own house so my kid and my wife don't kill me matters. And so <laughs> I'm going to slow myself down, ease myself up, Take a couple days off this weekend, relax by the pool, maybe drink a couple of uh, adult beverages, and enjoy myself. Will I be doing some work? Sure. There will be work to be done. I can't stop myself from working. It's one of the things I'm just, I love doing what I do. Even if it wears me out, I love doing what I do. But I'm not going to be doing it all day, every day, all different aspects. I'm not going to be on all these different social media platforms. I'm not going to be doing, uh, answering every single email. Uh, anybody who sends orders through over the weekend is gonna have to wait. I mean, really, anybody who sends an order this week is probably gonna have to wait, but still. I can only handle so many piles of things uh, in, a, in a given week, and so this week it is, I'm dedicating myself to this, and then uh, the rest of the week I'm dedicating myself to this pile up in here. Am I still gonna deliver the goods? You better believe it. I'm never not gonna deliver the goods. Just uh, a little bit more different timeline, that's all. And I recommend, folks, that if you are getting into this point, if you are feeling anything about the holiday crunch because it's coming, Halloween's here, maybe you're a Halloween-oriented person, Thanksgiving's right behind that, Christmas is right there, New Year's, St. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Maybe you are just, just getting ready to roll for all of that stuff and it's just already just a impending doom. Take a breath. Relax. Think of something that actually makes you feel good. Enjoy that for a moment. Take another breath. And now focus on what you can get done today. What can you do right now in this moment to get you a little bit out of the hole? Maybe you're just gonna be falling into another hole, but you get yourself out of that hole and into the next hole, into the next one. But how can you get yourself out of that hole today? Focus on that thing, and if you accomplish that thing, give yourself a high five, enjoy the rest of your evening, celebrate with your family, your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your whoever, your whatever partner you choose, celebrate, drink some drinky drinks, eat some eaty eats, enjoy the small victories 
every single day. Like, I'm going to enjoy my own little drinking drink as soon as I finish another hundred envelopes. <laughs> Then it's on to the projects that we talked about, which I'll talk about later and more. And next week, uh, video will be a little bit more, I don't know, tactical, technical, practical. Uh, it'll be something. Speaking of tactical and technical, guys, I want to remind you that if you haven't already seen it already, I have a podcast and it's called Dave Makes Things. If you can go to iTunes, you can go to uh, Stitcher, you can go to Spotify, you can go anywhere, find it. Dave Makes Things. Basically, what I do is I break down everything that I'm actually making during a given week, Monday to Monday. Not just what I'm physically making, not just the designs, not just the art, but also what am I making as far as connections on social media? What am I making as far as money? I break it all down in relationship to my art and design work. They're short little episodes, about 20 to 30 minutes. I talk about the week I just had, I talk about the week coming up, and I even talk about what's, what I'm thinking about for the future beyond that. If you're interested in any of that, please go find it anywhere. I'll put a link, but you can, you know, wherever you go to download your podcast, you can find it. Dave makes things. A sidebar to that is if you ever want to get that content before anybody else does, or maybe some other stuff, some insider information that some people don't get, some of these videos that I don't publish publicly, if you ever want to get involved in that, make sure you go find my Patreon page, because my Patreon page will show you exactly all of that stuff I just said. It's, you know, it's a good deal, and I'm also going to be adding merch over there, so maybe if you like, hey, I really like your mugs, Dave, I really like shirts, I really like your pillows, or whatever, some of the other things that they allow me to do merch, I've got, I'm be setting up merch opportunities there too. Uh, I'm not going to push merch too hard, but if you're interested, see what's going on over the Patreon. Please do. It's uh, patreon.com slash Dave Connery. All the links to everything are down in the, what does he call it? The doobly-doo. I'm having this brain fade moment right now, so bear with me. That's going to do it for this one, folks. I really appreciate you. What I'd like you to do is go down to the comments and tell me what it is that you are going to do to celebrate yourself today. Go down there and tell me what things are you going to do to take care of yourself today, tomorrow, this weekend, next week. What are you going to do to celebrate the wins that you have? I'm looking forward to that. Please make sure you go down to the comments and tell me everything. I want to hear all the gritty details. And while you're headed down there, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so before. And hit that bell that's over there too because you never want to miss a thing. And also share with all of your lovely homies. That's all, folks. I'm out. Remember, be good today. Be even better tomorrow. See ya. Lick and stamp and 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 lick and stamp. And lick and stamp.